there and welcome to your Moxie Life Landscape Digital Planner Setup Guide. I'm so excited to walk you through everything you need to get started using your new planner. We'll cover how to import your planner and digital files, add your favorite stickers and covers, integrate your planner to your favorite calendar and reminders app, and even show you how to add your planner right to your iPad home screen for easy access. Feel free to stick around or skip to whatever part you need. But let's get your digital planner all set up and ready to go. Now, when you download your Moxie Life digital planner, you want to save a copy to whatever filing system that you prefer. I love using the Apple filing system, but you might prefer Google Drive or another. You want to unzip your file by simply tapping it. Each digital planner comes with the 2026 Moxie Life Digital covers, as well as the 26 Moxie Life Digital Planner icons, as well as your free digital planning stickers. You also get our 2025 digital um, end of the year reflections notebook, which is just a PDF document that you can incorporate into your digital planner or keep it separate. And then of course you get your planner file. This is our 2026 digital planner landscape colorful edition. So now that you have all your files downloaded and unzipped, you want to upload it to your preferred note-taking application of choice. I love using GoodNotes, but you can use Noteful, Notability, Pinly. Um, there are a ton of different notes, and the process is very similar. You can send it directly from your filing system to your preferred app, or you can do it from the app itself. Like here in GoodNotes, I, could, I just press New, and then I import, and then I pick the PDF you want to not click the folder but you actually want to pick the pdf document and then it's going to upload and i just really like this as well because it's very simple and this process is very similar across all note taking applications no matter what you're using i'm just going to make sure i have read only mode on in GoodNotes. you just tap that in the left hand corner it just allows me to easily navigate between my document without the editing bar at the top here some applications have it some don't now you should know that your table of contents is like your home base everything is hyperlinked there your notepaper templates your sections we even included a link that takes you to the moxie life free printable library so you can use those pdfs and integrate it into your digital planner if you want as well as um, we have some core hyperlinks and tabs at the bottom that I want you to be aware of. We have our assessment tab. We have our intentions tab, as well as um, your annual goals and vision board. Those are kind of like some core pages in your Moxie Life goal setting system. Speaking of our goal setting system, on our assessment scoring pages, we have tabs at the top that allow you to easily switch between your quarterly compass assessment from each quarter and compare your scores over time. And just like in our physical flagship planner, our digital planners have all of our goal setting prep work pages that you would see there. On our annual goal pages, we included monthly tabs that you can easily navigate between. So you can always go to whatever monthly goals that you need to go to and always go back to your annual goals. That way, if you have a big goal that you're wanting to break down over time, it's just a little bit easier to do that in your planner. On the side tabs here, you'll see all of your months. Um, and the one thing that I love about the colorful tabs is that you will see that the monthly goals and monthly reflections tabs coordinate with each one of your um, monthly side tabs. So here you'll see blue for August, which is one of my favorite colors uh, from our colorful edition. One of my favorite changes to our planners this year is that our flagship planner slash weekly planner is now a daily planner as well. So if you click on any of the dates on the monthly overview page, it will take you to that daily page. We also embedded a fully hyperlink calendar on each monthly page for the next month as well. And it will also take you to those daily pages as well. And you have your same core bottom tabs um, throughout your month as well. Then when it comes to your monthly goal pages, you'll see those monthly tabs that allow you to switch between your monthly goal setting pages. You also have two tabs at the top that allow you to go to your um, goal setting instruction. So it will take you back to the pages in the Moxie Life system that talk about setting monthly goals as well. 
Then we come to literally the heartbeat of our Moxie Life Planners, which is our weekly reflections and weekly actions. We have next tabs and previous tabs that allow you to easily switch between the next week and the previous week when it comes to doing your weekly reflections and your weekly actions. We also have those bottom tabs that take you to your monthly goals and monthly reflections, but also to your weekly planning pages. So if you're a vertical person or a horizontal person, you can easily access those links. There's also the next and previous week tabs at the top of your weekly planning pages that make it easy to switch between just your horizontal layouts as well as just your vertical layouts. You also have your weekly actions tab that will take you back to those weekly actions of that particular week. Now, anytime you click on the day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it will run that Apple shortcut link and you will find that on your weekly planning pages and daily pages and it will pull up that coordinating date, day um, as well and that year. And then you can also add a reminder as well. This works with your Apple Cal, Google Cal, and Apple Reminders. And I love using it when it comes to reminders because I'll be in the middle of planning out my week and be like, oh. I need to make sure I add this to my grocery list and I can easily do that. And again, this works on all your weekly spreads, your daily spreads, and even those new daily uh, journaling spreads. Now, anytime you click on the actual date itself, it will take you to the daily page. So if you click on the day of the week, your shortcut, the date, your daily page. And like I said, this uh, works for every single layout. So your vertical, horizontal, daily, and all the things. I just really, really love this. And then when it comes to getting to your new intentions and reflection pages, which are also hyperlinked, um, you can access them through your habit tracker on your weekly page, or you can even access them on your daily page, which we'll get to. When you're on your daily page, you always have access to get back to your weekly planning pages. Um, the biggest thing about this planner is that we wanted to make sure that you could access whatever you need without clicking through everything. So even when you're using your daily reflections pages, we want you to be able to access your daily page. We want you to be able to access your weekly pages. And if you don't use those pages, that's okay as well. We didn't want to have to have you like scroll through everything in order for it to work for you as well. On your daily page, if you click the daily check-in, it will take you to your daily intentions and reflection pages. We also included next day and previous day tabs as well on your daily journaling pages so you can easily switch between each day and even look how you did the previous day and so forth. So after your weekly actions and reflections, you'll have your two weekly layouts, your horizontal and vertical. And then after that horizontal spread, you'll have seven daily planning pages and seven daily intentions and reflection pages as well. After your month of December, you will have your annual planning page, which has all 12 months of 2026, and they are fully hyperlinked to take you to that month, as well as the daily pages as well. Then you'll have your 2027 annual planning and then your notebook section, Speaking of our notebook section, each digital planner comes with a 16 subject notebook as well as over 24 notepaper templates. And so I'm just going to share with you how I would set it up. I would give each section a title. So if I wanted to use this for like memory planning, I could. Um, and then I can also um, make that section also memories as well. So I'm just going to label each section, which I think is really, really cool. And then I'm going to use this scrapbook page. And so I'm going to go to copy page by clicking those three dots in the upper right hand corner. I'm gonna go back to that section and then I'm gonna go those three dots again. I'm gonna press add page. I'm gonna press after and then paste. And I just paste the page just like so. So I can easily add my favorite memories and photos and I just really, really like it. I also love that with these notepaper templates, they work really well with our um, Moxie Life toolkits. So I have them saved already in my elements, which we're about to talk about here soon. And so that monthly like review um, in our quarterly toolkit, I can easily put this next to my photo um, template and I could just kind of do like a monthly memory review. And I just love, love, love how this turned out. Mm -hmm. 
One of my favorite ways to customize my planner is by changing my planner cover. So I'm gonna go back to my file with my digital covers and you'll see the collection file, which is just for GoodNotes users. And then I'm just gonna unzip that file and that's where all the PNGs are at for those covers. So I'm gonna click those three dots at the top. I'm gonna go to add page. I'm gonna press this before because I want it to be the first page. And I'm gonna press import and I'm gonna go to those covers and then I'm just gonna pick which um, cover that I want to import. So now when I scroll to the front, there it is. And if I go back to my GoodNotes home screen, you'll see that my planner cover also changed. Now let's talk a little bit about the elements feature in GoodNotes. It is that smiley face slash sticky sticker thing. And I really like this because it allows me to store my favorite stickers, photos, pages, whatever I'm using templates can all go here. And so I'm going to import my 2026 Moxie Life digital covers here. I'm gonna label it. And anytime you see that dot collections file in any of your um, Moxie Life um, digital planner files, know that is only available to upload to GoodNotes. So like you can see, it uploaded everything and just make sure you press that create um, hit that create and it will automatically store your digital covers and digital stickers in a collection file. And so another thing that I also like doing is sometimes I like to put a cover on top of a cover, um, but I'm just doing this here. So maybe I don't want that white border, but I want it to be like the full page. And the reason why I like this is that when I go out, you can see that it looks like that full notebook feel. So whatever preference floats your boat. Now let's talk about how to get your Apple Calendar, Google Cal, Apple Reminders all synced up with your digital planner. So we have the link there that you have to download, but you first have to go into your settings, go to shortcuts and enable private sharing. When you see that the green toggle is on, you know that you have that. So you wanna click it and you wanna download it. And then all you wanna do is set up that shortcut and you wanna pick which application you're using, whether it's GoodNotes, Noteful, Notability, and this is also just an iPad and Apple feature only. Another one of my favorite ways to customize my planner is creating like a planner app shortcut on my home screen. And I love doing this with our planner icons, which come with your Moxie Life digital planner. You have a set that has a white background and then you have a set that's also has a transparent background. You can use them however you want. These are the white, background ones as you can see that they have the white border and then um, the other ones you will not see the white border so you're going to open up your shortcuts app and you're going to click that add button at the top and then you're going to name this shortcut so whatever you want to show up on your ipad home screen is what you want to put here so i'm going to put my 2026 planner here um and then i am going to go to the side and pick which application so i'm using good notes you might use noteful or notability and i'm then going to press open a new document and then I'm going to click on that document section and then I'm going to click my most recent file, which is my Moxie Life Digital Planner. And then I'm going to press that I button for info in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to press add to home screen. And so when I click the add to home screen, then I'm going to go to that photo section. I'm going to press choose file and I'm going to pick which planner cover I want to use. And then I'm going to press add in the upper right hand corner and then it's going to add it to my home screen. So then when I click on it, it automatically is going to open up my planner and the most recent page that I was on. Now, another thing we love doing is adding digital stickers to our planner. When you get a Moxie Life 2026 planner, you get our standard like Moxie Life stickers, which include dots, flags, goal setting stickers. And so um, I'm gonna share with you how you can also upload those to GoodNotes using the collection file. You're just gonna repeat what we just did with our digital covers. You're gonna create a new collection and you're gonna press import from at the bottom. And then you're gonna go to your planning file 
you're gonna click on your stickers and you're gonna click that dot collection file and then it's gonna upload all of your stickers now I know that not everyone uses good notes and may not even have an element feature a part of their note-taking application if that's the case I recommend putting your iPad or tablet device into split screen view and dragging and dropping your um, images over um, that's a really simple way or you can use the image tool which is a part of every note taking application and upload your digital stickers that way as well. I hope you found this setup tutorial video helpful for your Moxie Life digital planner. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we got more digital planning videos coming your way. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you're most excited to try in your new Moxie Life digital planner.